Alright, hi everybody. It's Millie with Boots and Bows Outdoors and Jimmy behind the camera there. We are back with you for another family holiday recipe. This is our infamous shrimp dip. Woohoo! Now, it is not an original recipe. I imagine it was a dip recipe that was put on the Philly cream cheese carton back in maybe the late 70s. Uh, when I started with the family, when I started attending Christmas Eve, that was in 1980, it was already on the table. Um, the word is, and, and I believe, my sister-in-law Margie brought this shrimp dip to Christmas Eve. Because you know, everybody brings something. I don't know when, but somewhere in those late 70s. And my mother-in-law liked it so much, she took it as her own. And so we had shrimp dip every Christmas Eve, but she said it was her shrimp dip. It wasn't. It was Margie's. So anyway, I just want to, you know, make sure everybody knows that. It's Margie's shrimp dip. No, it was my mama's shrimp dip. <laughs> no, it was Margie's shrimp dip. Anyway, it's a fan favorite. We have it on Christmas Eve. And then after Jim and I were married for a little while, we took over dinner on Christmas Day. And my mother-in-law would send me home with all of the leftovers so that people had appetizers and things before Christmas dinner. And the shrimp dip, the leftover shrimp dip, would come to my house. Well, that began a tradition of shrimp dip for breakfast. That was oh. my breakfast when the kids were opening their gifts <laughs> right. from Santa. Both of us. Yeah. And then at some point, my sister popped in early one Christmas day, and she found out about the shrimp dip as breakfast, and now my sister asks for it on Christmas day. Where's the leftover shrimp dip? So this shrimp dip is just a definite favorite in our family. Now, it's going to be a thick dip, so you're going to need... Rusty. <laughs> no, I have rough, Rusty here. Rusty, you can't have this. Um, you're going to need Ruffles potato chips or crackers, like Ritz. Ruffles, Ruffles. It doesn't taste good without Ruffles. Jim likes Ruffles. I, and I had to go to three stores today to find plain Ruffles. I don't know what the deal is. The run is on Ruffles. But anyway. All right. So everybody's so, got dips. Right. So this dip also needs to be made at least the day before any event you're going to have. It has to sit in the fridge for about eight hours. So it's a good dip because it's a dip you can plan to make early and get that out of the way while you're preparing the rest of your stuff. So these are our ingredients. We have one carton of cream cheese. It's uh, eight ounce or 12. Eight ounce. Eight ounce. Eight ounce. Uh, a pound of sh boiled shrimp. Now, if you buy it already boiled and it's frozen, make sure you thaw it and dry it. Do not let wet shrimp go into your dip because it's gonna make it really runny and that's not good. And let's show them the, the chop on it. It's a mixture. I like it more on the fine side. Millie will chop it sometimes a little on the chunky side, but it's kind of a fine chop. I mean, it's up to you. You can put it in a food processor. I just don't like that because I think it chops it too much. I really want some shrimp when I eat it. Um, you can season the water when you boil it. That's okay. Because um, we're not going to really put any seasoning in until after we taste. We need a half a teaspoon of lemon juice. It doesn't have to be fresh. It can be your refrigerated lemon juice. We need about a third a cup of mayonnaise, but you need to make sure you have extra mayonnaise in case your dip needs to be a little bit looser, a little bit creamier. Um, and some shallots. And I just cut a little bit off the top. I don't know how much that is. How much you think that is? A uh, quarter of a cup a at the quarter very cup most. So. And I don't even know if we're going to put all those in there. Salt and pepper to taste and some hot sauce. Just a little bit of hot sauce. So you can find this recipe online. There's lots of different versions. This is our version. There's not too much to vary on it. So um, that's it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the cream cheese. And this cream cheese has been sitting out to oh, soften. Yes, yes. Sorry, I didn't say that. Cream cheese is at room temperature and soft. And um, the shrimp or 
kind of at room temperature too, uh, but they're dry. They're not, there's no moisture on them at all. And everything else is, is... I had I boiled them earlier today and then put them in the refrigerator and let them chill. And then Millie took them out a little while ago to chop them up and let them kind of warm up a little bit. You don't want to let shrimp get hot. No, no, no. That would be dangerous. Yeah. All right. So I'm putting this cream cheese in here. I've got some stuff on it. Uh, it, it this is so easy. Once you have your shrimp and your things cut up, it's literally, what, 10 minutes maybe to put it together. So we're going to put our cream cheese in here. We're going to put our lemon juice in here. Okay, that's our cream cheese. Lemon juice. Oops, that wouldn't work. Wait, I don't want this to come off. Uh, I don't know what the purpose of the lemon juice is. And here are mayonnaise, our third cup mayonnaise. And we'll put that in there. All right, now I'm going to run just quickly. I'm going to run my electric mixer to mix it up. Noise can, alert. Yeah, noise alert. You can do this by hand, but uh, I prefer to get it done quicker. So it's nice and mixed up. Can't tell what's what. All right, now we're gonna put our. Um, <coughs> don't turn. All right, we're gonna put. Oh, make sure when you do your shrimp, you devein it. I know you can't get all the veins out. I know sometimes it's almost impossible, but it, it's not really appetizing to see brown stuff floating around in this this uh, this dip. And even if, when you put in your salt and pepper, if you want, you can do white pepper so it doesn't show. I, I do black pepper. It's okay. But, um, you know, if you want that aesthetic of totally white. All right. We got our shrimp in. And I'm actually, I'm actually going to add almost, almost all of the shallots that I cut up. I'm going to leave a little bit to... Put on top and we're gonna mix all right now I'm gonna go ahead and add um, a few drops of the hot sauce we don't like hot things so I don't really want a kick. I just want some flavor. And I'm going to add the pepper. And again, that's to taste. So. <coughs> and we're doing. Now what we want to do is taste it. We want to see what it tastes like. I don't like to add salt until after we have, excuse me, after we have tasted what it tastes like with the, the seasonings kind of blended in. I mean, mayonnaise has, is kind of on the salty side. It has some salt in it. Um, the shrimp was uh, boiled in salt. And I'm going to let Jim be... Well, we're going to both taste, but I'm going to use, let's see, let's, we don't want to re-dip or anything. No, I'll just take some of this. Okay. Let's see. What do you think? A little bit of salt. Just a little bit of salt. Okay. 
And there's definitely a difference in the taste from right now to when it sits up. Yeah. One more taste. Oh, the shrimp are good though. I'm getting good shrimp taste. Right. Let me take a little bit more so you can taste. Now you it. go ahead and, and taste them. Right. I'm good. Yeah. good. The shrimp and the well, this dip, all the flavors need to meld together. That's perfect. And when you put it in a refrigerator and let it sit overnight, it's like a gumbo or like beans, where the next day they are so much better. Than what you have All right, right now. Where, where is our bowl? What, what bowls? The bowl that we put this in. I have no idea. Oh, here it is. All right, so it's going to fit in this size bowl. Or at least it did a few weeks ago when I made it. Oh, I just touched it with the spoon. Oh, my God. And I promise you, if you make this and you taste it right now, it'll taste okay. But once it's sat, those flavors have to meld. Yeah, it, it's it's the flavor is completely different once it's sat overnight. So we'll take a few more of these. Just sprinkle a little bit on top, not much, and voila, that's it. It is finished. And then I, I have to find my top for this. It's not sticking out where it should be. Should be right there. I know, but I don't see it. Do you see it? Nope. No. This is the. Oh yeah, that one. All right, so it is finished, and it will go in the fridge. It makes this much. <laughs> I'm assuming yeah. that's about two cups. About two cups, maybe a little bit more than two cups. Yeah. And um, it. It's a popular dip at our house, um, but we still have a little bit left over, so um, that's good, too. Well, yeah, you got to make enough so you have some left over. Right, right. All right, that's it. Hopefully, you know, you try this dip out for your holiday events this year or, you know, later on in the year. Um, it's, it's a good dip for any time. We use it at Christmas. But it could be an Easter dip. It could be anything. Yeah, just anytime. have some sort of party. Any party where you're dipping. All right. That's it. So happy holidays. And we'll see you soon. All right. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye-bye.